हेलो वेलकम यू आर लिसनिंग टू डॉक्टर सुषमा सिंह टुडे इन यूनिट सेवन मार्क्स एंड परस्पेक्टिव ऑन डेवलपमेंट वी आर डिस्कसिंग क्रिटिकल थ्योरी फ्रैंकफर्ट स्कूल एंड वी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम फ्रॉम फॉर फ्रॉम द न्यूक्लियर फैमिली एज इट एग्जिस्ट्स इन कैपिटलिस्ट सोसाइटी इज की to understanding the connection between these that is the individual is raised in a family and the family stems a specific part of the social structure on the child this is the manner in which society reproduces its class structure and imposes its ideologies and practices on individuals while individuals growing up in a different society would develop differently the particular effects of modernity create forms of domination and inner struggles in each individual forms of social behavior such as submissiveness and powerlessness become part of the self in these circumstances in contrast to marxian theory critical theorists made analysis of art and culture a central focus of their studies and noted developments in culture that were not purely economic in nature rather the dialectic of enlightenment was used as critic of culture Kellner noted that they argued for the most part critical theories developed critics of mass or popular culture for example Adorno criticized popular music production for its commodification rationalization fetishism and reunification of musical material in particular adorno attacked jazz as being standardized and commercialized arguing that seeming spontaneity and improvisation are themselves calculated in advance and the range of what is permissible is as circumscribed as in close or other realms of fashion while adorno critique has some truth in it he is unable to explain innovation and new developments using this one sided approach adorno tended to look on traditional form of high culture such as the art of art galleries or music of german composers as more authentic and creative than were forms of popular culture in my view adorno adopted a very holistic approach to culture one that would lead to limiting accessibility to and understanding of culture by large parts of population Walter Benjamin one of the individuals associated with the institute disagreed with Adorno and argued that there were not such dramatic differences between high culture and popular culture Benjamin was interested in the copy the mechanical reproduction of artist images a relatively new development in the early part of the 20th century while benjamin regarded the copy as the questioning the authenticity of the original work of art and the aura and the aesthetic quality of the work of art he also argued that for the first time in the world history mechanical reproduction emancipated the work of art from its parasitical dependence on ritual 
to an even greater degree the work of art reproduces becomes the work of art designed for reproducibility benjamin considered these to be progressive feature of this new development with the new forms becoming more accessible to more people becoming more politicized and possibly leading the situation where many images could be brought to the masses could raise political consciousness this was particularly the case with film where benjamin is somewhat reminiscent of simul now let us conclude this lesson this unit has dealt with the central marxian idea on development marx has tried to explain development in terms of progression of society from various stages that is tribal asiatic ancient feudal and capitalist he has visualized conflict in built in the material condition of existence to be the core factor in development to carry forward this conflict he has identified the agency of social class as the main vehicle of class conflict in this unit we have explained all these facets of development as formulated by karl marx the marxian plans of action and thought the limitations of his scheme of thought are discussed in this unit we have also discussed neo marxian approaches to development with special reference to dependency theory and critical theory on marxism after marx here we want to end this lecture as well as unit thanks for listening